Hey guys, Zen here, and with the set 4 of Dragon Ball Super Fusion World Ultra Limit just around the corner, I thought it'd be a great time to discuss the revealed super rares and secret rare cards that we'll be getting in the brand new set. We're getting 12 super rares, 2 secret rares, and an additional 4 super rares for the 2 starter decks. With that out of the way, let's talk about the first insane super rare card that we're going to be getting, and that's the Son Goku Mini Daima. What makes this so crazy is that it's a two cost card with a 20k battle power. However, it has the permanent ability that if your leader's awakened, it becomes 30k power. That's not just offensively, that's also defensively. Yeah, move over who cost trunks there's a new sheriff in town and one that uh doesn't bottom deck himself on top of that this card can self-awaken for you to essentially help you activate that permanent ability and it has a 10k combo which i can't imagine anybody actually using this card for a combo the amount of value we get from this this mini goku alone is honestly insane and i can't wait to go over the rest of the cards from this set as always, guys, I would love to get your opinions on these cards. So if you go over a specific card that you want to share your feedback or comments on, don't forget to leave a comment down below. And while you're at it, drop a like. With that, let's move on to the next card. And that is this five cost Frieza card. Now, the only thing I wish this was is instead of it being just Frieza, I wish it was like the androids where it had both their names. And this was Frieza and Son Goku. But I guess you, you can't get it all. This is a five cost, a 25K battle power with a 5k combo and it has the on playability if your leader has universe 7 which is pretty much every leader i believe except jiren in its special traits until the end of your opponent's next turn this card can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills and it gets plus 20k power making it a 45k battle card and on top of that, it also has the win attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 10K power for the turn. Now, I'm just gonna say this now, uh, out of all the red cards we've already seen, there is a ton of damage reduction. And right off the bat, I really feel like Beerus is gonna thrive the absolute most with cards like this. That's my honest opinion. Of course, we haven't been able to test it yet, but I really can't see Beerus not shining all the way to the top this set but what do you guys think i think this is a very strong card for only five energy 45k swing into your opponent's leader potentially you're absolutely wasting some resources from their hand and if not then they definitely take that damage all right now let's check out the blue cards and here we have a four cost 30k battle power zero combo go tanks that has the permanent if you have 10 or more cards in your drop this card gets an additional 5k power which is honestly kind of interesting we're finally seeing some uh, drop manipulation uh, this set i guess we did have a little bit last set but i really thought that would be something that the black archetype would take uh, control of but it looks like blue's getting a little bit of everything too on top of that it has the on play ability where you place the top two cards of your deck into your drop then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with the cost of three or less and place it at the bottom of their deck so this card helps you send cards to your drop to get that permanent power to boost your battle power to 35k and on top of that bottom decks a three cost or less now right off the bat i think uh pairing this with something like vegeto or that one cost my or even um hercule the sane city of hercule that reduces cards cost by two when attacking could be really good you could easily just bottom deck a five cost on play what do you guys think I think blue's looking kind of scary, especially with this next card. It's a two cost, 15K battle power, 10K combo, and has the permanent ability. If you have seven or fewer cards in your hand, it essentially becomes a 20K battle power and has the win attacking choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce its cost by two for the turn. Remember that Hercule we were talking about? That's a 5K battle power card, but now this card potentially could just swing into your leader and while doing that, reduce any of its uh, any, any of your opponent's battle cards by two, their cost. And then you bring out something like this Gotenks and now they're bottom decking a five cost or less for free just by playing this card. I think this Vegeta right here is gonna be replacing potentially a lot of Mize a lot of maybe even Vegito's to be honest. 
because this is when attacking and doesn't require your hand size to be five, set seven, I said five, seven or less. But yeah, if you thought blue was out of it, I mean, this single card just made it probably as annoying as it was in set three, but only time will tell. All right, now we are in the green archetypes and we have three SRs here. This is a uh, pretty fun stuff, especially with the new leader. I'm actually the most excited about this card, uh, this archetype, because I typically play yellow. So finally, I'm seeing green that really interests me. But with that, let's uh, talk about this card. It's a grade eight Vegeta, six cost. 40k battle power, which is kind of weird being the six cost and how the Vegeta leader kind of like plays out. But anyway, this is a double striker and has the on play. You place one card from your energy into the drop. And if your leader has Saiyan in its special traits, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of five or less and KO it, which means you can play this great ape Vegeta in Broly decks, in Gohan decks and in Vegeta decks. It's a very versatile battle card now is it better than double androids i don't know but maybe with vegeta's strategy of like using its energy manipulation to send out lower level cards with high effects then maybe this could be a very good thing moving on to the next card it is our three cost 25k battle power card that uh now now i'm starting to see the connection between this and the leader and also the next card that we're getting the super rare like i think vegeta is actually going to be pretty cracked anyway it has two abilities when attacking if attacking a battle card with a cost of four or more this card becomes a 50k power for the battle then place one card from your energy into your drop at the end of your turn if energy is placed into your drop by this card skill during the turn draw one card and add this card to your energy in rest mode which means you don't have to really worry about potentially losing two energies in one turn if you're using you know vegeta's ability or something like that uh, because if you use this card it'll just kind of replace itself at the end of the turn but also becoming a 50k battle power is insane that's 50k into potentially jiren you guys jiren is a four cost so you can easily become 50k into Jiren, waste so many cards from their hand. On turn six, you could play two of these and just go 50k, 50k into Jiren. And that's just one uh, use case scenario right there. I think this card is actually going to be pretty uh, insane. But we have to talk about this Nappa card. First of all, I love the art and I love the alternate art. I don't know if you guys saw that yet. Uh, I'll, maybe I'll make a video in the future talking about the alternate art. But as of right now, this is a three cost 30K battle power that has the on play and you choose one of the following. Add one card from your life to your energy and rest mode. Or if you have no Vegeta battle cards, this card can't attack for the turn. So I would definitely try to play this on something like when you have a Vegeta battle card, because then you could just choose that and essentially nothing happens and you get a three cost 30K body on the board for free uh, or else uh, you kind of just ramp your life, but also lose your life. So I don't know if you would want to do that. It's, it's a tricky scenario. I don't think you ever play Nappa without having a Vegeta of some sort on the battlefield. But I think these two uh, three cost cards specifically with the brand new Vegeta leader uh, is going to be pretty spicy. I, I can't wait to see the other cards again. These are only the super rares, so we still have rares, commons and everything that could make Vegeta way more popular. All right, moving on to yellow. And unfortunately, we only have two yellow super rares. These uh, yellow got the least amount. So I don't know, maybe set five is going to be the set for yellow, but it feels uh, pretty lackluster. However, some of these abilities are pretty good. This is a three cost Majin Buu Evil 25K battle power that has the activate main once per turn KO one of your battle cards, right? Draw one card. Then if your opponent has six or more cards in their hand, your opponent discards one card from their hand. Uh, mill anybody? That's kind of great. And then also this ability completely works well in synergy with your Majin Buu, Super Buu, Evil Buu leader, the brand new set four leader. So I'm very excited to see how that plays out. We might actually have a very solid option for milling. And then we have Majin Buu Kid, the brand new double striker, 35k battle power, five cost, zero combo, uh, has the on play ability where you can play up to one battle card with a cost of four or less Majin or Evil Wizard in its special traits from your hand, meaning you could play Majin Buu and then you can play this Majin Buu Evil 
for essentially free. You know what this card reminds me of? It reminds me of Mecha Frieza and being able to bring out like King Cold, right? However, instead of being able to bring out a single specific card, you have special traits. So you have a wide variety of cards that you could almost always take advantage of this ability and just on play and bring something else out to the field. That's a cost four or less. That's a lot of value here. And I hope if I get any SRs, they are these two SRs. Let me just max them out in the digital client and I would be completely happy. Moving on to black, we have three brand new super rares, which honestly, let's be honest, we, we need it because it was just introduced that archetype last set. So they definitely need all the support and more love. But these cards are pretty nuts. This is a four cost 30K battle power, great ape baby with zero combo and has two abilities on play, play up to one battle card with the cost of two or less from your hand. Now, right off the bat, I think of cards like Pan would be really good with this if you're running a deck that has some sort of um, energy marker manipulation. Then it has the win attacking, choose up to one battle card with a cost of three or less and place it into the owner's combo area. Now, the reason I think this is an insane uh, ability is because it doesn't say like, is it your area? Is it your opponent's area? It doesn't matter. So you can attack with something like say Pan, use Pan's ability, right? Actually, I think Pan's a zero combo. I'm not sure. Let's pretend Pan is a 10K combo. It doesn't matter, right? You attack with something, uh, use their ability, and now they're rested. You technically can't use that as combo anymore. However, with this card, you can take your rested cards and still use them as combo, right? So that's one variation. Or you can take one of your opponent's cards and just send them to the drop after using them as a combo. Like that's pretty nuts in terms of uh, flexibility and the versatility of that ability. I'm so excited to build around this specific ability, but that's the first SR for black. We still got two more, you guys. We have Super Baby 1 here, another 3 cost, a 20k battle power with 2 abilities on play, play up to 1 battle card with a cost of 2 or less, and Brainwashed or Machine Mutant. These are the brand new special traits for set 4 uh, that work specifically with the brand new Baby Leader. And with this card on play, you can uh, essentially just play one for free, cost of 2 or less, from your hand as soon as you play this card. So there's going to be a lot of swarm tactics with the brand new Baby Leader. It also has the auto once per turn ability that when a card is used in a combo from your battle area, while this card is in battle, draw a card. Now this says once per turn, meaning you can draw an extra card on your turn and your opponent's turn. It doesn't say your turn only. So you can swing with this card, use a combo, draw a card, then your opponent, if they attack into you, combo again, you draw another card. Essentially this is Bardock, but insane. <laughs> I'm very excited for this archetype. And then finally, we have Trunks GT, a two cost 20K battle power with 5K combo. It has the permanent opponent's turn. See, they do specify here that if you have an energy marker, your non Trunks GT battle cards can't be removed from the battle area by your opponent's skills. Now, I'm a little rusty on that. I'm pretty sure KO abilities still work on your cards. But guys, please let me know in the comments. It's been a minute since I've, you know, read up the rules and been this precise. So I'm not entirely sure if that actually protects uh, your cards from things like, you know, double androids or Cell or Broly, or if it's specifically protecting your cards from like being bottom decked, which is a very strong counter to, you know, the blue archetype. But anyway, it also has the on play ability where it helps you self awaken. Now let's move on to the secret rares. We have two of them. We have one red and one blue, which is why you only saw two super rares for them because they do get these secret rares this set. And these cards are absolutely busted. This is going to require its entirely own conversation in the comments down below. But a six cost 40k battle power on play until the end of your opponent's next turn, negate the next damage you take. Now, if you play in this accordingly, this could oppress your opponent. Imagine playing like four of these back to back every single turn. You, you, There's no shot you're losing, right? I don't know how you get to that point where you can play four back to back but to negate an entire damage that you take. And then you also have, you know, cards in your hand that you could just combo out is insane work. It also has a second ability that when attacking, choose all of your opponent's battle cards and they get minus 20K power for the turn. Again, this is what I mean. If you have two of these on the field, your opponent's not doing anything. <laughs> you swing with one, you swing with the other. That's minus 40K the entire turn. P play, play three, they can't do anything. Your opponent just loses the game. It's, it, it's actually insane. 
along with the brand new Ultra Instinct Leader. I don't know. I just I personally don't understand uh, why they keep doing this to red. Uh, a lot of people are like, oh, it's not that crazy, but like there is no coming back from this. Right. And I don't know if that's the purpose of these secret rares that like once they're played, it's like very much downhill. If your opponent plays this, the chances of you losing go up astronomically and the chances of you winning become minuscule. I don't know. That could just be in my own hot take. You guys let me know in the comments. And then we have this card, which at first I was like, oh, we're just breaking rules now. <laughs> but, uh, you know, it's kind of grown on me a little bit. Six cost 40k battle power has the permanent ability. You don't lose the game even if you have zero cards in your deck. And if you have zero cards in your deck, this card gets an additional 10k power. At first, I was like, hey, oh, we're just we're just breaking rules here. But then I, you know, thinking of other cards, like if you play a cell, right? If you play a, a Broly, if you play a, even a Zeno or something, uh, you get rid of this card and this ability is gone. And then that effect doesn't matter and they lose as soon as you end your turn so it's not a huge it's not a game breaking ability i don't think uh not like something like this where if you play a couple of them you just win the whole game but this one i feel like is actually a little bit balanced even though it is entirely taking a rule and throwing it out <laughs> on its uh, on its head here it also has the activate main once per turn switch this card to active mode then choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards in their battle area and return it to its owner's hand so you get to just bounce anything, then place the top five cards of your deck into your drop. So this is going to pair really well with Gotenks. And it also makes me feel like there's going to be a ton more cards in blue that get some sort of boosts and power ups with the more cards you have in your drop. I mean, you kind of have to, especially with an ability like, oh, if you have zero cards in your deck, you just keep playing the game, right? But only time will tell. Who knows? Maybe even this weekend they'll release the rest of the cards and then we'll have to make another video. We'll see. But those are all the uh, super rares and secret rares. And now we're talking about the super rares in the starter decks, you guys. First one here is a four cost, 25K battle power, 10,000 combo. Uh, Shin, you know, Supreme Kai has the auto when your battle card with 25K power or more attacks, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and it gets minus 5K power for the turn. I like it. It's an auto. It's nothing crazy. It's also a 10K combo. This is a very balanced ability. I like it. I think it's going to work really well in this archetype. And then we have this guy here, 5K double striker. It's the new double strikers for the starter decks, right? And it has the win attacking, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with 20k power or less and ko it um it depends right it's i don't i i think the other double striker is better because you get to just choose anything and then give it minus 20k however this can only knock out things that are 20k or less or else i guess nothing happens so like there's that right it's it's a solid double striker i think i might prefer the other one Let's move on to blue. We have Piccolo here. 20k battle power, 10k combo has the on play. Choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards and reduce its cost by one for the turn. Then if your opponent has a battle card with a cost of two or less, draw one card. So it's a draw engine for you and it also reduces the cost. That's a pretty good ability. I think it might actually be better than the Supreme Kai, but you know, that's my take. And then here's the double striker for the new blue starter deck. It has the on play, choose up to one of your opponent's battle cards with a cost of three or less, and then bottom deck it. Then if you have seven or cards or fewer in your hand, draw a card. So you bottom deck and you draw a card. And with the other cards we've already seen in blue, by reducing uh, your opponent's cost, again, you can bottom deck something like a five cost card, which is pretty nuts. And you get to draw a card if your hand size is seven or less. But uh, there you guys have it. That is every single brand new super rare and secret rare card that we're getting in this new set for uh, this card. I'm just uh, listen, whoever gets this in the digital client, I feel like uh, I, I don't like you already. No, I'm just kidding. Let me stop. Uh, some cards I'm really excited for. Black is going to be so much fun this set. And I'm insanely excited to play my uh, yellow cards because I I'm just a yellow stand. That's all I do is play yellow. I love it. Set three wasn't a good set for set, you know, for yellow, but set four might be it. And now green. Green is something I'm really looking forward to. Uh, blue. Blue and red still going to be insanely annoying and dominating. And yeah, there you guys have it. That's my hot take or a review for these super rares and secret rares. Let me know in the comments what you think. Don't forget to hit the like button, subscribe, and I will catch you guys in the next one. Later.